Hey, so today in Notion API Adventures, I'm doing a little change log management. Uh, so in our current Notion Mastery workspace, we have this change log, which is just a series of bullets with a date and the lesson that was updated and a name of the lesson. And I feel like given that we have some structured data here, it might make sense to bring this into a database. So I have made a new version of this in our work in progress. And all I did was copy and paste those blocks or, uh, and drag them into a new database and I added a date column. Uh, so what I wanna do is move that date over to the date column um, and I wanna add some icons to this uh, and that's about it for now. That way we can you know, structure this and sort this and add additional details to like what was changed and so on and so forth going forwards. Um, so what I've done, and let's go over to our code uh, so you can kind of ignore this stuff. This is all my imports. This is the database ID that I'm working with. And in my uh, working helpers here, I've got this thing that's fetch all pages, which recursively fetches all the pages in a database. And then you can perform a series of actions with them, uh, which is with this perform with all. So I'm saying with all the pages, uh, run the edit page function, and that receives a page object. And so all we're doing here is I'm pulling out the title of the uh, lesson, um, which is going to be our uh, this part here with all the text in it. And um, I'm using this function in, in Lodash called partition, which taking a filter will break the um, titles into two separate arrays. So um, my filter here is basically saying if the part type is a mention and the part type is a date, then we want to put it in the date mentions. Otherwise, put everything into the other mentions title. Uh, and this next one pulls out that actual date object from the title. And then the next part I'm doing the lesson titles and I'm just filtering out any uh, remaining uh, title objects that have, have uh, just a, basically just white space to remove uh, any kind of, you know, extra stuff once we've stripped out that date. Um, and so I'm going to use this um, other function I like, I wrote called icon prop, and I'm going to add a new icon to each of these. So maybe, yeah, we'll use the new icon. Um, so I'm going to update the page and I'm going to pass through the date property that I pulled out from the title as the date and the lesson title is going to be that lesson titles one. Uh, so when I run this script locally, um, I've got all of my um, perform with actions, perform with all has an automatic rate limiter in it. So it's going to pause every second or so to do the update. So this will take a, a minute or two to update, but um, lim rate limiting is built into this system that I built, which is on my GitHub account. Uh, I'll share the link to that if you want to play around with this later. Uh, so when I run the script, let's see what happens. So we'll start seeing some requests tick along. I've got a little dot that writes to the screen for every request that's performed. And if I go back to Notion, we're seeing that the title is now removed from the uh, message. We're adding an icon and we're copying the date over to the date column. And this is all kind of happening in real time. And uh, because my date is uh, currently, my view is sorted by date descending, we're gonna see those move to the top as they get added. Um, so that's another example of working with the API to automate a bunch of annoying repetitive tasks. Enjoy.